The flames were visible for miles around early this morning. The fire broke out around 545. The CEO said the place was empty. The night cleanup crew had gone home. The next shift not yet arrived. Like everyone else, he wonders what happened have no idea. The building that burned housed the pear packing facility, four large compartments all together forming one building. Saw a little bit Former of employee Adrian it's Lopez could not stay time. away. I didn't think it was true until I had, and I had to come see myself. The pear packing plant had equipment similar to the apple plant that you see in this video shot recently by the fruit company during a tour at Underwood Fruits. CEO Don Gibson never imagined he'd be talking about something like this. The pear facility is what is is burning. How strange is it to hear yourself say those words, the pear facility is burning? Uh, never thought I'd say them. It's strange for growers, too, who've depended on Underwood fruit since the 1950s. One of them is also a volunteer firefighter who responded early this morning. This year we should have had a little, uh, right around 8,000 bins of uh, pears and apples together. But I don't know exactly where they're all at. They might not be all. They're not all in that one building, but there's probably some. It brings a bit of a weird feeling. Sure, sure it is. Fighting the, fighting the fire, trying to help the business out and also help me out. Whenever the fire goes out and the investigation is over, the CEO says the company will put everything back together again. This is our 100th year anniversary. Um, we're a well-established, well-capitalized business. We're going to rebuild, obviously. <clears throat> And back live now at the fruit warehouse in Bingen that has really started to uh, become an inferno here. Just boiling flames. You can see how it starts to sort of create its own wind and its own weather in there. So if you are anywhere on the uh, east end of the Columbia Gorge, you're going to see this towering plume going way up into the air. Some folks earlier today, when it wasn't anywhere near like this, worried that maybe another oil train had derailed. That is not the case. This is a fire that's been going on since about 5 this morning. And what has happened is it's concrete walls, but once the fire got in and then got established into the roof, which is a big wooden structure, there was just no stopping it. You can't see it from here, but there are a number of fire crews down near there making sure as best they can that this flame does not spread to the nearby apple packing facility. That would be more catastrophic damage here. So far, it's just the pear packing. And while it looks uh, spectacular and dramatic and scary, uh, I believe most of the damage had already been done before this last piece here. So as long as fire crews can keep it from spreading into the apple packing area, uh, I think the damage is going to be somewhat limited. It's going to be severe, but limited to that pear packing operation. Back to you.